The United States Food and Drug Administration, FDA, has given full safety approval to Visa and BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine, making it the first jab to be licensed. The vaccine had initially been given emergency use authorization. Its two jabs, three weeks apart, are now fully approved for those aged 16 and older. The approval is expected to set off more vaccine mandates by employers and organizations across the country amid lingering vaccine assistance among many Americans. In an official statement, the FDA said the approval of the vaccine is a milestone as the world continues to battle the COVID-19 pandemic. The statement added that while Visa, BioNTech and other vaccines have met the FDA's rigorous scientific standards for emergency use authorization, the body said the public can be very confident that the vaccine meets the high standards for safety, effectiveness and manufacturing the quality FDA requires of an approved product. Since December 2020, the Visa BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine has been available under emergency use authorization in individuals of 16 years of age and older, and the authorization was expanded to include those within 12 years through 15 years of age on May 10, 2021. The Visa vaccine previously approved on an emergency basis, has been widely distributed inside the U.S. and is being shipped by the U.S. government to other nations. In a similar development, the Pentagon said it is preparing to issue an updated guidance to require all U.S. service personnel to be vaccinated. The move is coming hours after the approval of the Visa BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine by the Food and Drug Administration. Now that the Pfizer vaccine has been approved, the department is prepared to issue updated guidance requiring all service members to be vaccinated. A timeline for vaccination completion will be provided in the coming days. Uh, the health of the force uh, is, as always, uh, our military and our civilian employees, families and communities is a top priority. Uh, so it's important to remind everyone that these efforts ensure the safety of our service members and promote the readiness of our force, not to mention uh, the health and safety of the communities around the country in which we live. The U.S. Defense Headquarters decision reflects similar moves by government and companies around the world as nations struggle with the highly contagious Delta variant that has sent U.S. cases surging to height not been seen since last winter. Kamil Sadiq, CBA TV.